Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. So yeah, this is going to be a great time. Hey guys, welcome back to our episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm Ronan Tame HD, and this week we watched The Beekeeper, starring Jason Statham. This film is a new 2024 action film, and right off the bat, I love this film. Well, I love the action. I Like, love is a strong word, just like, hey, it's a strong word, but I really like this film, okay? I found it very enjoyable, very fun all the way through. It was, right, it was very well paced, it was the right length. This is like when I talk about good action films. I'm gonna go on a little tangent. I'm, I'm on a little tangent, but I just want to tell you, I love this film's action and I really enjoyed it. And before I go on a little tangent on why, I'll tell you why I like this film and more. Back at the house. You are a problem. Got them right, I'm a problem. No way he's coming here straight through the back entrance. I figured I'd give the firefighters a break. Somebody detain this guy. Ah! We have to kill him before he kills his way to the top. Honey? It's flammable as fuck. Who knew? Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm Russell Tim HD, and this week we watched The Beekeeper, directed by David Ayer, starring. Jason Statham, Jeremy Irons, and Josh Hutcherson. I believe those are the important names in this film, or the ones that I know. And this film is a 2024 action kind of revenge type film. And this film uh, is the story of kind of two people, actually. There's, well, I mean, while Jason Statham is the main, like, driving force of the plot, there is, like, another side plot going on with a, like, with two FBI agents trying to, like, following Jason Statham and, well, like, following what he's doing and, like, kind of unraveling the, like, story. But Jason Statham already kind of knows what's going on because, you know, he's, like, ex-classified program agent. He's, like, the beekeep, the bee, like, the beekeepers, right? That's, like, the ex-classified program. That's what he is. And in this film, he just goes on a fucking tear, you know, uh, akin to, I'm not saying it's as good, because obviously I do believe the, it's like, but it's akin to the Equalizer films, while obviously I do believe some of the Equalizer films are stronger than this film. I think it's akin more to the Equalizer franchise. Obviously I'm not saying they're of the same quality, I'm saying they're theming-wise, in how our main character being like X classified something and him just like tearing through all the bad guys in the entire film just tearing through all of them right like nobody can stop him not a single soul in the world can stop jason statham same as they couldn't stop denzel washington and yeah this film just yeah it was just really fun and obviously the film was not like the greatest film ever made, but I will say it was fun. It was really well paced and it just like it blew through because there was a lot of action, obviously being like I know I'm saying that word a lot, action, but like the action was spliced in good with the scenes of Jason Statham being sneakier, of him like investigating or him traveling from place to place. Like the action was well there was a lot of it, by the way. There was a lot of action. And I thought it was pretty good. I do like Jason Statham just kind of like tearing through everybody and you also notice he doesn't uh, like kill the cops like ever he was like whenever he shoots him he shoots them in the bot in like their body armor but whenever he shoots at like the mob guys he immediately kills them which i think is a good detail but uh yeah i found the film very fun in that regard the action was very fun i mean he like literally stabbed a guy with a gun slide like what's what's not to like there what's not to like um and obviously just Jason Statham being Jason Statham. I mean, who doesn't like Jason Statham? I like him. But, um, yeah, I thought the film was... Also, by the, let's talk about the pacing. Now, the pacing, it was fast-paced. Like, there was no bullshit. It was right where it needed to be. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short. And it was paced well enough to where, as I said, there was no bullshit. It got right to the point. The beginning of the movie, it started, and it gave our main character, Jason Statham, gave him his motivation, and he's like, okay goes off and just kills people, burns shit down, explodes shit, literally fucking blows shit up, just does all this, right? And we understand his motivation, we understand how he has these capabilities, how he's one step ahead of all these all these guys, these fucking 
telemarketer or scam people. We know how he's ahead of the curve, and we understand how he's able to annihilate everything. And we, and by the end of the film, it's left up for it's left open for a sequel. Cause I mean, like they could just do another movie where another person that he's friends with or another person that's close to him, you know, is hurt. Maybe not even killed, but like is hurt by a company, and he's just like, all right bet I'm gonna go and kill everybody again, <laughs> right? I don't know how smart that is, but it's a movie. Who cares? Leaves it open for a sequel. Beekeeper 2. But yeah, like, Beekeeper 2, you know? It's a movie, whatever. And like, I don't know, just when the movie ended, I'm like, wait, the movie's over? <laughs> like, I thought, like, the movie's over? I didn't know... It didn't feel like anything went by, also probably because the film was pretty short, and it was obviously an action film. They're, like, meant to fly by, right? If a good action film, if you're watching a good action movie, it flies by, right? A bad action movie, you'd just be like, and you'd want to die, even if it's super short. Like, it's so dull. Like, that's the thing. As I said, this film was really, like, good with splicing and stuff, and it just, I had a fun time. Where I was like laughing at the ridiculous ways he would just kill all these, kill all these mob guys. I remember he, there was this like one of these like lower crypto bros, and he tied him, he strapped him to his car, and he fucking drew drove him off of a bridge into the into the fucking water, and it was really funny because he was like just like screaming the whole entire way through, and there was like the they actually drove a car off of a bridge, and they like they had this little like like test like this little dummy attached to it and it was it was dumb but it it was fun it looked dumb though <clears throat> in a good way in, in a good way and yeah the film was just a good time and overall i i would recommend it you know i would recommend it uh if you're if you're a fan of action stuff if you don't like dumb fun action movies if you want like a more because there's not much to this film only obviously there's like a message of like corruption i guess you're not really watching an action movie for, like, more than just to have fun. I mean, obviously, there are some action movies out there that can add more than just the action and the dumb fun stuff. They can have a good and enthralling story. But if you have a decent enough story but good action and good pacing, I think that's all you need for a good action movie is a decent story with good foundation and understandable things, a good pacing and good action, and you're good. You're good. And this movie... If you're a fan of all that, if you like dumb fun action movies, if you just like action movies in general, recommend it. And if there's more action movies like that, put them down in the comments, man. I want to watch all these. You know, I'm an action movie connoisseur. I love watching all these kinds of action movies, so put them down in the comments if you feel like it, I suppose. And uh, I think I'd rate this film a 7.5 out of 10. Very, very enjoyable. Had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I'd rate this film a 7.5 out of 10. And, uh, hang on. <clears throat> and um yeah i think i've said all i need to say i think it's my piece so guys hope you like this video share your friends subscribe to notifications on comment down below what you liked it but you guys know how that goes i didn't really mean to say that what i really meant to say was if you guys hated this video unsubscribe there's like a time of hate me in the comments i've been running time hd buzzing off According to all known laws of aviation, there is no there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its fat bodies are too much for its wings to be able to pick itself up the up off the ground. But the bee does not care and does it anyway. I I can't remember if that was the exact thing from the bee movie, but it better fucking be. And I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to sneeze.